The hypotenuse will be 2x. In any order, they're going to give you one of the sides and ask you to find the other two sides. You have to have the formula memorized. You cannot use the Pythagorean theorem. Why not? Because they're only giving you how many sides? One. They're only giving you one side. They gave you two. Sure, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, questions? All right, let's do an example. Can you see me if I move over here? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Oh, let me tell you, the, the way I remember it, the way I remember this one has a root 3, is 30, 60, 90 are all multiples of what? If I take 30 and I multiply it by 3, I get 90. Okay, so that's how I remember that it's root 3. Like I said, it's not the best mnemonic device, but it may help some. All right. The easiest one, easy, is if they give you the 30 degree angle side. If they tell you that this side here is 8, then just like that, you ought to be able to tell me the answer. Right? Because that's the easiest side. They gave you x. You didn't have to divide by 2. You didn't have to divide by root 3. It, they gave you the simplest term, x. So instantly, you ought to be able to tell me the hypotenuse. 16. 16 very good. And instantly, you ought to be able to tell me the 60 degree side would be what? 8, root three. Eight. Eight times root 3. Now, raise your hand if you have no idea where those numbers came from. Okay, good. We're on the right track. All right. This is 30. It's the side opposite of this. It's like this. There's 8. I moved the triangle around because every triangle is going to be a little different. Yeah, but I don't see how you got 8 out of 30. Oh, I made it up. It could have been any. I could have okay, put a 7 or 29 or anything. I just made that up. Good question. So if this one's 8, now you see that this it has to be 16 and this has to be 8 root 3. Right. They don't give you anything, you can't do it. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think it was a great question because I was kind of confused about the same thing. I appreciate that. Really? I mean, like, because you never know, like, you can do something with the question. angles or something. Oh, no. Yeah, because we're totally learning about that right now. <laughs> All right. Instead of the 30 degree angle side, they're going to make it a little bit harder. And what are they going to give you? Not the 60 yet. That's the hardest one. What are they going to give you instead? They're going to give you the hypotenuse. And they're going to tell you that this amount here is 18. We'll say 18. If the hypotenuse is 18, I'm just putting letters here so you can tell me. Which is going to be easier? Can you tell me X or can you tell me Y? Which one do you know? Where's the relationship? I erased the rule. But the relationship from the hypotenuse is always to the 30 degree angle side. So if this one is 18, then Y has to be how much? It has to be half as big as 9. Right? This one's 2X and this one's X. Does that make sense? I know these letters are confusing. I'm going to use A and B. How about that? There's, if that one's 2X, then that one's X. Now that I know that this one's 9, can I work forwards and tell me what the side opposite the 60 degree is going to be? 9 root 3. Very good. This one is x root 3. This one is x. This one is 2x. Are you starting to see the pattern? Okay. This one was easy. This one was a little harder. You had to work backwards. One step. Okay. Questions? All right. What's going to be the hardest? If it gives you the, uh, no, the 60. That's right. If it gives you the 60, that's the hardest type that they can give you. All right, let's do one now. I hope you're writing these examples now. Yeah. <clears throat> Ashley, give me enough. Uh, 120. Oh, my God. Come on. Why is that hard? That's not hard. Okay. The side opposite of the 60. Right, hold on. The side opposite of the 60 is 120. How do I go backwards? Please be quiet. How do I go backwards and find either A or B? You tell me which one's going to be the one we're going to find. B. Correct. We're going to be able to find B. How? Excellent. Exactly right. If this one is what they gave us, and we're trying to go backwards and tell X, what is the relationship between x root 3 and x? How do I get them to be the same? I divide by root 3 and it cancels out. So I'm going to take 120 and I'm going to say divide it by root 3 and that's going to equal that side opposite of the 30. What is 120 divided by root 3 going to give me? Well, I've got to multiply by root 3 over root 3. 
and I get 120 root 3 all over 3, and y'all are exactly right, 40 root 3. I'm almost there. Right? I figured that out, that that side is 40 root 3. If I wasn't sure, I could take that and multiply by root 3, and I better get 120. And I do. I'm almost there. i got to finish out. How do I go from this side, the side opposite the 30, to the hypotenuse? Now I'm working forwards. I double it. I multiply times 2. What is 40 root 3 times 2? 80. 80 root 3. 80 root 3. Questions? Any questions? Anybody have a trouble with that? All right. What What made this problem harder? You gave it. You have to do too much work. You're exactly right. Uh, <laughs> They gave you the 60 degree angle side. You want to see one more of those? Yes. All right. I'll leave this one up. I'll leave that one up. All right. Here we go. 60 and 30. And write it. If I'm doing this problem and working this out, all I want to know is what did they give you and what is it? If I'm looking at this, it's a 30. I would describe it. I would say, Coach Collins, that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And they gave you the 60 degree side. They told you that the 60 degree side was 9. Right? How do you know that? Well, it's opposite. It matches up with the 60 degree angle side. So if this one's 9, can I find A or can I find B? B. Why B? Because it's opposite the 30. I want to save the hypotenuse for the last. Do that last. So you're so always going in clocks. I can't really say that because I could draw, I could flip this over and it would be going in the other direction. So I can't really say you always go in this direction. I can say this. If they give you the side opposite the 60, you're always going to find the one opposite the 30 next. Okay? How are you going to find it, Alan? How am I going to go from 9 over here to this side? I'll put you on the spot. No, I was just trying to figure out. You're going to have to divide it by three. Correct. 9 divided by root 3. Times root 3 over root 3. What's this called? Rationalizing the denominator. 9 root 3 over 3. Can I cancel anything? Yes. Why? Why is it okay to cancel the 9 and the 3? Outside the radical. Very good. And my answer is 3 root 3. So this side here is 3 root 3. You with me? Alright. Now, I've got this side. How do I double it? To find the, I told you, how do I get the hypotenuse? Double double it. I double it and I get what? Six root three. Oh. I double it and get six root three. I kind of told you the answer. Questions? I hit stop for a second.